Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna see if plaster of Paris, cornmeal, some chocolate, and water will make a non-toxic rat poison. These are known as rat balls. This idea of controlling rats has been around a long time, and so many YouTube viewers have asked if it works. So we're gonna start with equal parts of cornmeal right here. You can also use flour, that looks good. And we'll mix our one cup of cornmeal with one cup of plaster of Paris. Now there's quite a few recipes online. Some say to add sugar and some say to add powdered chocolate. That will entice the rats to gobble it down. In theory, when they eat it, the plaster of Paris will harden in their stomach and they'll die. And finally, with all the dry ingredients, we add just enough water or milk to make it a soft dough. You wanna go slow as you add the water to make it just the right consistency. It's still pretty dry though. I'll add a little more. Okay, I made nine different rat balls. They look delicious. We'll see if the rats actually eat them. Let's go set them up with motion cameras and see what happens. Well, I'm convinced my rat balls did not work. On the first night, they took some bites, but after that, they left them alone. It's been over a week, and the rats are still there, and so are the rat balls. Now, rats are very cautious. When something's new, they're careful. So maybe they just took a small bite, didn't feel well, and left them alone. If you have any ideas, leave a comment down below. But when you make homemade rat poison, it's pretty tricky. There's no way of knowing a lethal dose, and I don't know if these are safe for other animals. If a rat eats it, and then your dog eats that rat, will it get sick? There's no way of telling. So I don't recommend plaster of Paris rat balls. Now thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who are sending me fan art. I love seeing the pictures. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking the button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.